welcome to any replayers. If you are a replayer, tap on the screen because the hearts do count. And welcome to Tuesday, uh, Task It Tuesday. And as we are in full swing of the tax season, I once again want to talk about the tax rates. And one of the things that I think people um, don't really pay attention to because it's just something that happens to you is um, what your tax rates are. So I think this, so what we want to do this week and on Tuesday we talk about a tip or a task is for you to sit down and whatever state you, you know, whatever your situation is, really figure out what it is your, what are your different tax rates. So if you're in the US, so this is going to be US, more US centric, I'm sure anybody from uh, another tax jurisdiction can do the same, but really know these numbers. So we talked about, uh, in the past, I've talked about, so payroll taxes. So um, if you are a W-2 employee, uh, make sure you know what your, um, you have two components of your payroll tax. And actually, let me bring this up because I had this, um, I covered this in another Periscope and we had um, talked about taxes. So um, there are two, uh, all right. So social security taxes is 6.2%. So this is the dollar one or dollar zero tax that you're taking out of your paycheck and it tops out and once your uh, income is at 118 and a half thousand, it goes away. So, so write that down. So everybody is subject to social security tax, except if you are a state, um, a state worker with a pension. Some state workers are exempted from a, uh, from a social security tax. So no, uh, you should know whether or not you are participating in a social security um, contribution and whether you'll be eligible. So write that tax down if it applies to you. There's a Medicare tax of 1.45% for employee. Again, think about is, is it applicable. And the best thing to do is look at your paycheck and see what taxes are being taken out. But write down those percentages and figure out what is it that your tax liability is percentage-wise. So figure out, are you paying social security tax? Are you paying Medicare tax? Are you subject to the additional Medicare tax? Again, that's for high income earners, but if you are in that bracket, figure out if that's gonna to apply to you. So that's for um, married taxpayers who file jointly, it's at like 250,000. So if you're like, you know what, I'm not clearing that, I'm not gonna worry about it, eventually it may impact you. The next thing is make sure you know what your is your federal marginal tax. Marginal tax is what's your last dollar that you're gonna earn. So um, if you're a W-2 employee, the, your employer is usually using a, a calculator that will take out tax over the year, so distribute it equally. So you kind of have an expectation of um, of an equal paycheck. Uh, in reality, the first, you know, the, the first so many thousands of dollars are exempted from tax, um, and so you are not paying, if you're at a lower um, marginal tax bracket, you're not gonna pay a lot of federal tax. So figure your marginal tax, and then figure your average tax as well. Um, because it's, these are important things. You need to know how much of your income as you're going up the income ladder is gonna go to taxes. Uh, and then of course your state tax. Some states have a flat tax, like really do, like look it up, you know, make it just a little table for yourself. We're gonna show you an example tomorrow morning. I'll make a little table for, you know, different marginal taxes, different, um, so the, we're gonna add up the payroll taxes, the additional Medicare tax, uh, the federal marginal tax, and I'm in Illinois, and Illinois has a 5% flat tax at this point. But different states have different tax rates, so please do uh, pay attention to what is your tax rate in your state. So if you've moved or if you have plans to move, that can impact, you know, what is your take home. So that's a, it's a real quick uh, exercise. And again, because we're in tax season, I do want to talk about taxes a bit more. Um, and. Uh, you know, I've always encouraged people to do their own taxes and to understand more about the tax return um, and just saying, oh my God, it's too complicated. It's really not. If you, uh, if you, reach a, if you don't reach a certain income threshold, actually TurboTax lets you, do their, it lets you use their online program for free. Anybody uh, who doesn't meet a threshold, so go on TurboTax and <laughs> figure out if you qualify and you can use their program. Even if you don't feel confident in filing it and you still want somebody else to check it, you should still go through and see and look at all the numbers and see what the numbers uh, show you for your taxes. So again, okay, that's the task for today, so task it Tuesday. Uh, so write down and figure out what your personal tax percentages uh, liability are, and tomorrow um, we will go through and look at an example.
So again, if you're just joining, my name is Joanna Zarek. I broadcast every day at 10 a.m. Uh, on at Central Time to talk about money habits, developing better money habits, thinking about money, managing it, and doing various things that uh, really impact your wealth building and uh, on your path to financial freedom. So if you want to follow, um, if you're not following me and you want to make sure you get my broadcast again daily at 10 a.m., we talk about money habits. And tonight, actually this evening at 5 p.m., I'm going to talk about 5 p.m. Chicago time. I'm going to broadcast on retirement accounts and talk about the basic of different retirement uh, accounts available to people in the U.S. So that's IRAs, 401ks, what's the difference between Roth and traditional, and just breaking down some of those concepts for you and, and helping you understand why it's so important to participate in the tax advantaged uh, retirement accounts programs that the federal government offers. Uh, so tune in or follow me for a replay. Um, again, thanks a lot for tuning in and uh, make sure you do your tax, uh, tax bracket table and tomorrow we'll go over an example of what the tax bracket table looks like. See ya.